When you're setting up your iPad for the very first time, you need to start by pressing the button at the top. Hold it down and the Apple symbol will appear. Then you'll get a slider, which you need to pull across the screen and you're ready to start the setup process. It will ask you to set the language. So here we're just gonna tap British English. Now it's got the language, it will ask you to set the region. Here it's put the UK at the top, which is right for us, so I'm gonna hit that. The iPad's now searching for Wi-Fi signal in your area. So if you're at home or somewhere where you want to join the network, just scroll down to your network and then tap it and enter your password. This is a 3G tablet, so it's now asking us to insert the 3G SIM. I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm just gonna hit continue. It will now ask you if you want to use location services. This just means whether you want to give apps permission to use your location. So a map, for instance, would know where you are. So we're gonna hit enable location services. You now have three choices about how you want to set up the iPad. The first one is to set it up as new, and then the second and third options are to restore from the cloud or restore from iTunes. Now this just means it will pull down all the content you've bought before, like apps and games and even music. So anything that's on previous Apple products can be pulled down onto your new iPad. So we're gonna tap set up as new iPad. It will then ask you to put in your Apple ID or create a new one if you don't have one already. So I'm just gonna tap sign in with Apple ID and put in my details. You now have all the standard terms and conditions. So we're gonna accept by pressing agree, which is down here at the bottom. It will now ask you if you want to use the cloud. This just means that it'll automatically save all your data, like your contacts and your content and photos up to the cloud. So if you want to access it on another Apple product, you can. And we're gonna tap use iCloud. It will now ask you if you want to use an app called Find My iPad. This just means it will use location services to track down your iPad, whether it's hidden down the back of the sofa or to hunt it down if it's been stolen. So we're gonna tap use Find My iPad. It will now ask you to create a passcode. So this is just for security. It means that if someone does get hold of your iPad, they can't get hold of your emails or your contacts and all your data because it's unlocked. So I've put it in once and now it asks you to confirm it by putting it in again. Then you'll be asked if you want to use Keychain. This just means it will keep all your passwords and credit details the same across all the different devices. I'm actually gonna tap ignore for the moment. You're now asked if you want to use Siri. That's just a means of operating the tablet via voice recognition. And now we're gonna hit use Siri. Here we're asked if we want to use diagnostics. That means the iPad will automatically send data about our usage straight to Apple. We'll choose automatically send and you'll be pleased to hear that that is it. You're now presented with the welcome to the iPad screen where you can tap get started to get on the internet and get using those apps. So there you go, up and running in no time at all. To find out how to sync your emails or download apps onto your iPad, watch our next videos. Or to read all the latest Witch reviews, sign up for a one pound trial. For more on this, for the best iPad keyboards and to find out how we test tablets, click on the links below.